everybody, I am Alpha Bird. Welcome to a new Steel Division 2 video today. And today's video, we've got the featured match for Chulon. Hopefully the volume's okay. I'm looking at my screens and my mic volume doesn't seem as loud as perhaps I would normally have it. So let me know if there's any issues and I will change things up. Right, let's just head in straight to looking at the orders and uh, then we'll head into live action commentary straight afterwards. We're on the map Zell. We are Chulon on Balanced Income. We're up against first Falchimega on Balanced Income. So my feeling for the game is infantry versus infantry. I don't want to fight in that way. Uh, I want to use all of my supporting equipment and get control of the skies and use uh, my bombers and sea phase to beat his infantry. It's going to be tough fighting infantry on infantry in this map because I feel like I'm outmatched. So I'm going to try and not do it. The idea... After starting to place down my units, is go for a right hand attack. I've got some fast transports with attractions, so we're going to try and push the right hand area. So that's the overall idea with the play and the map. We're balanced versus balanced, so I can be a bit more aggressive in A phase than I normally would be uh, and try and take the initiative away from my opponent. So we're going to move left to right and I'll show you the orders that I've got in here. So we've got two units of infantry. We've got a marine infantry and a Sakirnungs. Both going into this spot. I've chosen the Sakirnungs because it's got a anti-tank rifle that can fire around about 500 meters. I think it's this one here. So that can perhaps snipe anything coming in where my opponent's not paying attention. And then the KM Marine Infantry also has an AT grenade on it. So that can attack vehicles as well. Nothing too major on this side. Remember, we are attacking on the, the right-hand side. So it's just a defensive force. The mod is going in this area to prevent anything pushing past the, the flag area. I'm kind of worried about this, that I might get pushed. But I'm trying to keep... The areas where I'm not attacking, as minimal forces as possible, but still able to mount a defense so I can invest as much points as possible into my point of attack. So further into the center, we've got one Sakirnungs going over here on the right, and then the remaining units are going into this center town. Now, they are mostly MG42s and shaft shoots. In fact, they all are. So, two MG42s and two shaft shoots. The MG42s should be going into the church tower. And I think this front building here and the shaft shoots going into this building here and this building here. So, really, shaft shoots spotting the, spotting the units and using the sniper quite effectively to uh, suppress infantry units and the MG. 42s kind of doing the same job um, just finishing units off with those mg 42s mg 42s much stronger now than at the start of the game so they can definitely perform as i expect an mg 42 would perform into the center we've got a few units here we've got a 50 mil mortar and then a bunch of infantry so the the 50 mil mortars coming into this area here to help out in this tiny little engagement usually happens between these two forests. So I imagine a 50 mil mortar will come in handy here with the less than 500 meter distance. And then we've got two infantry units coming in to provide uh, infantry for those buildings and hopefully hold on to the flag. The other area, I've got two infantry units going into this heavy forest just to prevent the enemy pushing across usually as a player on the blue hand blue side of this map you can start to push down this road and into this red forest before the enemy can kind of push up from their spawn because of the way that the road systems work so you can take it over we're not trying to do that i'm trying to conserve units so i can push on the right here and then finally on this right hand side this is my bulk of bulk of my forces and as you can see the majority of them in tractions or fast bike transports so we'll pick these up first i've got a traction commander coming in there that's going in behind this forest to immediately befried me with like three stars on all of my uh, units or two stars three with the accompanying fuhrer and then the remaining vehicles we've got two pack 177s i'll pick those up next they're going into this area here i'm going to try and drop them off and with their fast face 
rate of fire they're going to immediately start firing on any transports coming up this road and they should get some quick snipes before my enemy even realizes he's in trouble because the speed of those tractions will get them there before he's got a chance to react and then finally we've got all of my other units i've got basically three mortars three 50 mil mortars four 50 mil mortars sorry and one shaft shoots no real infantry going into the area apart from the km fura so as you can see the shaft shoots are going a little bit further back i don't kind of want to lose these and then the um i think this is the mortar i think this is the shaft shoots the initial one and then these three are all mortars so i'm trying to get them to the front so they can just fire with those fast firing mortars onto any infantry that do unload close by and destroy them quite quickly finally i've got the other units i've got a km fura in here that's going back here i want to unload that early to protect it and then we'll push it forwards on foot and then the two flak 38 20 mils they are in slower transports but they're really acting as ground support weapons here. They're just going to blast the enemy with, with 20 mil fire. And it does also protect against an early aircraft that's going to perhaps come in after seeing all of the traction vehicles moving up. I'm expecting my enemy might order an early Focke-Wulf bomber of some kind uh, if they get access to that. So that's why the Flak 3820s are going up as well. And they're great fire support against infantry being 20 mils on the ground. Finally, I've got a Marder 1 just coming in here to trundle on in. It's going to be slower than all of my tractions getting in there. So it won't factor in any early engagement. But having a Marder 1 there would allow me to exploit. So if I do win the engagement, I can rush the Marder 1 into a pretty nice advanced position to fire on any reinforcements coming in those are the orders i'm going to switch to some live commentary now so you can see my commentary as the game was being played hopefully you enjoy it let me know down below in the comments also i'm noticing a drop in views uh, if there's stuff that you don't like about this videos let me know and i'll try and change them to hopefully get some more views because right now it's a little bit disheartening that our views have dropped off so so massively thanks very much for watching though those of you that are watching and yeah like i say i hope you enjoy the game we're up against the first Volksjäger, both on balanced income on Zell. So I'm a little bit concerned to start off with because obviously Volksjäger should be strong with their infantry. Tulan not so strong with their infantry. Uh, and Zell, I think, does favour that infantry maps, uh, infantry player. Uh, I've decided to go all in on a right-hand push. I just started to work around, like, I started to place a few units early on in this area, and I've got the tractions up front, and I just feel like I can go for this um, right-hand push. Taxi, darkness, yeah, we're already, like, yeah, way up here. Zur Stelle, Hauptmann. Feind in der Nähe. Beschützt die Artillerie. I'm hoping that my packs can really do the work. Feind in der Nähe. Beschützt die Artillerie. Ziel vernichtet. Endlose Steppe, so weit das Ohr gereicht. Yes, good work from the MGs. Zu Ihren Diensten, Herr Kommandant. Hier fliegt bald alles in die Luft. Right, so the hope is that I've destroyed a fair few units here. I'm worried about that left a little bit. Oh, Tiger. Okay, let's get our units out of the way of that Tiger. That's going to be the difficulty, I think, here in this engagement. I do have a Focke Wolf, but that's too expensive for me. Ah, he's kind of shut me down a bit with that Tiger. <laughs> Was not expecting that. I'm going to have to try and get a Marder kill. So I don't think the one the Italians can kill that Tiger. Try and get a side shot with that Marder. We're going to need to come in from a different angle. We could get a heat shell kill. Let's order one in just in case. What went down? Right, I'm just trying to maneuver this Marder, really. The Marder can definitely get the kill. We really could do with the uh, infantry leader being up there as well. 
These packs can get the kill as well. Oh, don't want... oh no! The LG rig that basically destroyed this entire tent. My only other option is to bring in the. You might be able to get some kind of side shot here. Transmission damage. Let's try and move him away. We can kill that FSG you got. We might be able to rush forwards with those. Um, I'm going to leave these on. Yes. Okay, we should be able to get the Panzerfaust kill here. I'm really worried about him sniping it. What's he firing at? The flat gun. Okay. Come on, Panzerfaust kill. Panzerfaust kill for the win. It's noticed. Okay, I don't think we can get that anymore. LG's gone down. Try and get the SIG close. He's got a lot in that center area. We're not going to beat him in the forest, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Tiger, go down. No, still up in the air. Chasing it. We are chasing it. Get, trying to get all my fast vehicles up. He's going after the... Uh... Oh, he's not. He's going after the KM Führer. We're chasing the Tiger! <laughs> okay, he's taking the centre, so we do have to massively reinforce that. The right is going to be our victory, if we're going to get a victory. Hans Faust. Hans Faust. Come on. Uh, I'm stiff. I'm being stiff. He is so lucky. Heat shell. Come on. He's shout! Oh, miss! He's pushing infantry through here. Come on! Ah! Uh, this has been an absolute travesty. I'm telling you. Yes, finally. Yeah, he needs to be careful with his infantry. I'm going to divert. We're using our traction commando right on the front line here. We need to get our air force up as well, I think, to help out and bait him into some... Bait him into uh, losing some planes, hopefully. He's fully concentrated on fighting this area now, so the hope is... Ooh, he brought in a flak. The flak's going to go down. I also need to, I just... Ah, there's so much I need to do. My flat guns have to come on the front line right now. I need front line troops. I need to move the SIG back, I think. His um, infantry is just better than mine. So that's part of the problem. He's also coming around me here with infantry. You see, I'm just losing units to infantry engagements. That's a great spot for the Mardok. Oh, did we use a flat gun? 
Damn it. Okay, I think we need to try and take this place back here. I, I'm finding it struggle, a struggle not to fight infantry on infantry in this kind of map. We've made a breakthrough, though. If we can try and hold this, we'll be reasonably okay. We need to get some anti-air up. I'm now going to get a flat gun up. Yeah, my, my flat guns going down were... Not great. I, well, actually, only one of them went down. I tried to use them on the front line. Dude, I don't really have any AT guns down there now. I really need to get some AT guns down there. I just saw his lead up. Let's try and ambush. Right, what could we do here that would really help me? Anti-tank, I think, is what I need. I need to secure that area. Mod going in there is really helpful. Seven two is going to batter my troops if I'm not careful. I try and get a few shots on it each time. Okay, it's going into that area there. I don't really have a leader. Am I in phase B? Not quite. I am. Do will have a leader when I get to phase B. I'm going to move the KM Fuhrer. I just don't have the troops. Try and re-secure that area. I like to move that stuff forward a little bit. It's not really doing much there. Okay, B phase. Let me think. I'm going to go with a flak on this right. Uh, for the anti-air. I'm going to try and bait him. He doesn't seem to be focusing on my plane, so I'm going to go for this uh, BF 109G6. See whether we can get on the back of him. 7 2's in the area, so I'm going to be back. Okay, good work securing this area. I'm going to now push for this centre spot, I think. Okay. I'm going to bring my Führer back to vet that Flak 36. Ah, I do need infantry leaders. Right, now we've got this on the field. Really going to start to help us out. What's that? I bet that's a Tiger. I bet that's a Tiger. 1311 up. I'm pleased right now. I'm pleased. Please, please, please with how we've done. Tiger, we are going to need our APCR. No, fall back. Okay, good. Hold fire. Okay, wait for the side shot. Wait for the side shot. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Driving out. That's okay. We, we can hold a side shot. Get another shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Another one. We might use this opportunity. Oh, miss again. Okay, we're going to back the martyr off. Three misses. 
I feel like the tiger's going to hit me now. I love how he's moving it down there. That's a strange uh, action. I wouldn't have expected that. We just killed some stuff down here, so I'm expecting we can do the same again. Right, let's get... I want some artillery units in here. Also wanting an artillery leader. And I think an off map is probably best. Okay, so let's push for the Marder forward again. He's got the flag there. Let's get our planes up. We need to stop baiting him over the area. He's also pushing through the forest. Um, 13-11 still. Yeah, exactly what I needed. Come on. Actually, he's not going for me again. So let's go for that JU. Pioneers. We can't beat Pioneers in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ooh, let's get the traction out of there. Bring the KM Fuhrer across. We got the kill. Let's get the get him out of there. I'm going to go with artillery. Uh, off map would be great. OG42, they're really strong. I'm hit. Oh! Oh my! LG42, what are you doing? That was outrageous. Ah, uh, goddamn pursuit, shoot the Sanso immediately. Okay, he's going to use his airplanes, clearly, so that's not so bad because we've got a lot of airplanes. It's just his infantry, I just I can't kill his infantry. I need to get artillery up, I think. Like his infantry are just stormtroopers. Ridiculous. We need to find another way. We're gonna have to get our artillery and our bombers up. Oh, we want more anti-air as well. Because he's in trouble now. Let's drop the flax. Ooh, we didn't save it, but the BF should hopefully go down. Oh, come on, the BF should have gone down there. Oh my god! We lost the flat gun in a really... Oh my god, and there's another one in trouble. Hopefully that one didn't go down. Ooh, I don't know whether we've got enough flak guns now. Stoss Troop aren't going to be fighting them in the forest is not good. 
back to a 12 12. I'm really uh, not, I'm a little bit worried here. Did I not have those APCR shells on when I was fighting the Tiger earlier? I'm so dumb. I'm going to run out of stuff. He's going to plane me, I feel like. Yeah, hopefully my... I'm going to push that model all the way forward and try and get a close range snipe on that Tiger. I'm also going to try and continue this. Right, first things first, let's get another anti-air weapon up. Uh, I'm having to fall back here. I don't know whether the tiger went down. That's what I want. Close range. Oh, come on. Oh, no, he's taking fire from two directions. Yes, tiger kill. That's enough. He doesn't get many of those tigers. I think we've got to use numbers here. the flat gun up and get some infantry. I don't feel like you get out of there. There's no way you should be fighting that battle. Snugs are going to lead the way. Infantry close behind. Oof, that area there is a little bit of a worry. Let's just divert some resources. Try and bait some planes. Ich höre Help 
going to need to fix up some of these um, AA units with supplies. Man, that was a friggin', I felt like that was a lucky shot. Really want to try and rush through with this infantry. I want to get all of my anti-air up as soon as possible. Oh man, this is artillery. This grenade doesn't have a, a AT on it, so let's try and ambush that artillery. Drop these guys off here. 16-8, that's what we need right now. Let's try and get a battery fuel up there. I think some artillery for counter battery would be great. Using numbers, I think that's the best way to beat Falschmega right now for me. I'm going to move my traction across. Nash Horn. We, need, we can go close range with the Nash Horn. Shit, I mean, they are an AT. Oh, they can see the Queen's Marine. We need to get... Let's try a Dawn here. How did that national survive? One of them needs to go down. Man alive! Hopefully the Dornier will do the job. Oh, Jagdpanzer! There's a sneaky Jagdpanzer hiding in there. Oh, we got to surrender. We got to surrender. We leveled up. Look at that. Leveling up. Yeah. <laughs> Leveling up. How do I get off the level up? There we go. <laughs> Thank God. 25 minutes, 55 seconds. That was by no means an easy, def an easy win. I was very much concentrating significantly hard. And um, anyone out there, my supporters will know this for sure. I've uh, bought a... But a brand new mouse. I was having tr troubles with my mouse wheel in previous games. That is sorted. There's a little button on it that changes it from like spin really fast and don't stop ever spinning. Don't stop spinning. And then there's a little button you can press to make it act like a normal mouse wheel. Um, so that, that's all fixed. 2,000 kills to 1,600 losses. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. What are my feelings about that game? I think we launched attacks at the right time. I think being aggressive was good. Uh, standing back and allowing his infantry to just dominate mine in long-range fighting battles, long-range infantry battles, uh, was just not the right approach. We had cheap infantry until the very end when the marrow were going to come in. Um, I didn't get the marrow in. But yeah, the marrow, actually, on that map, the marrow could have saved me in C phase. Um, but yeah, I think early on, A and B phase, we didn't have the kind of infantry that could stand up to his infantry. And we didn't really have a big tank advantage either. Getting those tiger kills were, like, key. Absolutely 
key for me and also getting enough AA up onto the field.